Hi Sagittarius, welcome in. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. Scorpio, I'm going to take a look at your next seven days. I'll start by pulling you some general messages and then I'll take a look at your love life. If the reading resonates or if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and feel free to leave a comment down below. Messages for Sagittarius, please. Okay. Wow. We have sun. I was just going to say, I'm feeling very positive energy surrounding you, Sagittarius. It says happiness and well-being. So it feels like you're entering a period of positive energy. Yeah, that's where you're headed. We have this arrow. So you're headed towards the sun. It says you are on the right path regarding some aspect in your life. Some of you guys could be traveling, of course. Let's see. Okay, wow, we have star, guaranteed success, and then you have cobweb. It says protected from negative forces beyond your control. So there's a period of happiness you're entering and it's guaranteed success. Nothing can stop it. Nothing's going to get in your way. There will be energies that try to penetrate your bubble. They will try to penetrate the protection that surrounds you, but this is your reminder that you are heavily protected Sagittarius and there's no evil force in this entire universe that is going to get to you. Okay. And I'm getting chills telling you that. What else? Okay. You have wreath. Some of you guys, there could be some sorrow over losing a person. Um, I feel like this person is coming out in your reading. What does this person want Sagittarius to know? Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. There's somebody, Sagittarius, I feel like some of you guys have recently lost a loved one or you have lost a loved one at one point or another and it could have been a very difficult time for you and you're about to enter, encounter a stranger that has a very strange message for you from this loved one, from this person that you have lost. Some of you guys, you may have just lost somebody here uh, in the physical and the person could still be walking around in the physical and you may have lost them and you're going to come across a stranger and there's something this, this stranger says or does that is going to give you a message from this person that you have lost in the physical. Okay, there's going to be some type of message that comes to you from somebody you've lost, but it's going to come from a stranger. We have bell announcements. Now, Scorpio got announcement. If you have Scorpio in your chart or if you're dealing with a Scorpio, go watch the Scorpio reading. We have tent, a temp temporary situation. I feel like the stranger you meet will be temporary. The stranger you meet is going to say something very important, very profound here, and it's going to very it's going to click with you. We also have crown, honor, and respect will come to you. A lot of you Sagittarians, you are in, you are standing in your power here. You are sitting on the throne. You are wearing your crown, and you are a star. Okay, let's see. This one flew out as well. It says fire, a strong emotion, passion, passionate love or hate, lighthearted, carefree time. So there's no, nobody that hates you, Sagittarius, is going to be able to get in the way of your carefree time. You guys are heavily protected. I feel like there is going to be somebody that tries to start something with you and it doesn't, you don't have to really pay them, you know, any, 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 I don't pay them any mind. Okay. You have this star energy. Just pay attention to the stars. Pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to your North star, where you're headed, what you're doing. Let's pull you an angel number. Angel number four, Sagittarius, please. 
It says 24, I am generous. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balance, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and you are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. It says, I am generous. So Sagittarius, you're protected because you're protecting other energies around you. And so the spirit world needs to keep you protected because you have a protective energy over other people. So that's one of the reasons why you're being heavily protected right now, because you're very well needed. Like the universe needs you here. Okay. And so you're going to be protective, protected. It says five, I am adaptable. Flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. When it comes to love for Sagittarius, please. When it comes to love for Sagittarius. It says heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. There's a heart to heart conversation coming towards you. Romantic feelings it says your feelings are real and worth exploring. Sagittarius, somebody wants to tell you how they feel about you. Somebody wants to explore a relationship with you. They want to honestly discuss how they feel. And they want to know how you feel. Love for Sagittarius, please. So there's somebody here that closed off. Okay. I feel like they had, they had their guard up for quite some time here. Some of you guys could be at a stalemate with this person after an argument or a disagreement or some type of drama. Um, I feel like they're coming towards you to tell you something. We have this lover's card. Okay. Let's see why the queen of wands, please. Yeah. They're, they're in the blues about you. Sagittarius. Why the lovers? They've chosen. This person has had options, okay? And I feel like... Tell me more. Yeah. Judgment card. And then we have, here's your energy, temperance. Somebody has chosen you. And I feel like you could have had a disagreement with this person because you you did not feel chosen in the past. I feel like this is somebody that brought drama into your life, conflict. Uh, they could have possibly even made you close off to love. Okay. And I feel like this lover's card, seven of cups, this is definitely somebody who is realizing they need to make a decision. And the decision is you. I feel like the decision has been you all along. They've just been in this king of swords energy, kind of like aloof. The hanged man, kind of taking a pause. I see somebody surrendering because they choose you. Yeah, three of pentacles. I see you. I see you had. There's that conversation. Tell me more about this. The hermit. Somebody wants to have a deep discussion with you. I feel like they are afraid that it is going to turn into an argument, though. Yeah, Queen of Swords. So they're afraid of what kind of boundaries you may have set. Okay. They're afraid of really what you might say to them here. Okay. Yeah, Five of Swords. They feel like you're very sarcastic or that you would be sarcastic towards them. They feel like there would be conflict here, but they're wanting to discuss something with you anyway. They're wanting to discuss with you how they feel. Look at this, the star. They're ready to recover. 
Okay, they're ready to stop holding back. Four of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. They're ready to stop holding back, okay? I feel like somebody here is ready to be vulnerable with you. And it's telling me they know that you're going to come at them with some type of sarcasm. Or you're going to have something to say. And they're going to have to stand there and listen to it and take it, okay? Because they want to heal the connection. Give me one more card, please. Yeah, because they want you. You're their wish fulfillment, and they want to move forward. They want to reunite. Reunite. They want some type of success, a new beginning here. Look at this. The world. They're scared, okay? They're scared to fully invest, but this is definitely somebody that's wanting to come back towards you because, guys, they're obsessed to the devil. They're still fixated on this situation. They're not ready for this to end with the world. They want to come back towards you. I feel like they've been looking back, actually, okay, this whole time, but they've been very stubborn here with this Two of Swords, the King of Swords. To me, that's very stubborn energy. Give me a Lover's Oracle. Okay, it says Sacred Union. They feel this with you. It says Honor and Treasure Your Relationship, for it is truly sacred. Give me one more card, please. One more. One more card, please, Spirit. Okay. It says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So they have it bad for you, and they're ready to confess. They're ready to stop being stubborn, Sagittarius. Those are your messages. Bye.